Hey friends, Kathy here. So I got a question about when to use a sand wedge versus using a pitching wedge on the same line. So I have here two flags. One is a little bit closer to me and I have about 50% of green versus 50% of fair way to work with. And then if you look on the second flag back there, I have way more green to work with and a little bit of fairway. So this is how it differs. You're going to assess what the ratio is between you being on the fairway versus how much green you have to work with. And that is how you're gonna choose the club. So this one that's pretty close to me here, because I have about a 50-50 thing going on, I'm going to grab a sand wedge. And with that sand wedge, what I'm expecting it to do is I'm expecting it to roll uh, out just a little bit, land a, end up a little bit high, right? Versus if I take a pitching wedge and I try to do the same thing here, what you'll start to notice is that the ball will go a little bit lower in terms of flight and it's going to roll out a little bit more and then you'll end up losing control of it because quite frankly the pitching wedge is not really meant for a lot of air and a little bit of roll. So now I have that second flag over there. If I kind of do the same method here, let's just say I grab out my sand wedge um, and I'm once again expecting it to get a lot of height and a, a little roll. it's really hard to judge the distance on where the ball is going to stop. So instead what I'll do, because I have a lot of green to work with, I'm essentially turning my roll out into a putt. I'm going to take my pitching wedge or even a nine iron and I'm just going to bump it up there with a smaller swing. And that thing will just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. It'll hit the the hill there and it's going to roll out so that's how you'll determine what kind of wedge shot you're going to hit whether you have a lot of green to work with or minimal green to work with 